being taken away from Envy, and Chitty knocked down a few pegs as far as picks goes. We'll go to Skarna here as Vladimir, the last pick overall Probably here for Mango. going to go late. Um, if it is a 5v5, we've also brought our own firepower that can scale in by having both Rise and Vladimir there for the hyper range. Raptor now level four, excuse me, actually looking mid, pops Predator onto G4. Envy gonna try and line up the stun. There's the first stand lining in. Follow-up stun there from Aurelia and the pull down. Plus Ignite, there's the Lantern out to safety. Now the hook gonna land. What a roam from the butt side there and Envy oh. is gonna get it. She need to flash though for the next kill. That's flat down, but first but did go over to Mega. Now Jund is trying to find the next follow-up kill here. Shinny in uh, enemy territory, which is not where you want to be when you're marked by the Kindred. Wiggle away. We're going towards a creep way, but I think Inevitable Demise is now on the menu for Paul Skarner. He's into the tower. I think Wolf got a nibble, and June does get the kill. Ah, uh, disaster. You can see that they expended so much, they knew that they had to go for the Stop trade. off the Rift Herald. But the issue is, is that he didn't account for the mid lane. Got the uh, mini crab at least. Rocky now going to get tagged. That flash straight into the stun. Impale going to land in from Shinny. And there's an onslaught of shadows, because why not? Shinny going to grab the kill. As Crescendo will miss in the bot lane. Lloyd had I mean, to flash, though. There is some uh, niceness of the reliability of Sona Tarek. When the late game rolls around, Flash, oh, what a pull from G4. We're now going to get stunned. There's the Impale, and not going to get away from this one. Jun, oh, the left of Spider, I'm take it back. G4 going to live for a little while longer. Vanguard's at pop. Shinny going to go down into stasis. The TP in on sort of shadows. Pop gets the first kill, but they will trade. Is then be able to grab the next one. Tay taking turret hit for that hook. Did not land. Quite an exchange there, it's only one for one. And Shinny cannot catch a break. He is first to the punch, but it's no longer always just a 2v1. Someone else is always responding, always has the counter punch, and is always beating him in the end. If there was ever a time to remind you of the rule of play by play, is never announced death prematurely. That little exchange will tell you why. As Lloyd gonna miss the dazzle, but a great on-point crescendo there from Mills. He's gonna force Lloyd to burn the heal. Now pop in there as G4, looking for his own solo kill, takes down Envy in the main lane, grabs the double offs and says, thank you, very much. And across map, everything looking so good for Mega and right look, there. they still got cooldowns. Remember, did have to use both summoners. And as you mentioned already, that Infernal Drake is up in 30 seconds. Shinny, though, deciding to gank on the top side, Tay going to kick things off, launching onto Rocky. What a flash out of the Onslaught of Shadows. And Rocky still tagged. Shinny going to dive this time. That Impale should seal the deal. And that's Rise falling down. And finally, Shinny's able to make it count on the map. But meanwhile, Mega are still uncontested in the bottom of the Oh, no, heck room. You know, there's lots of things that can snag you. I just feel like it feels real bad for Callista because she is so reliant on kind of staying ahead of the clock and looking for that two item power spike. So we'll hold that Surprise! Up. G4 baiting once again. MB gonna go down and Shinny a little too late to try and save it. Does grab the impale though in onto June, but Lambs of Spite is there, gonna pop it now and that may call off the rest of the play. Here's Redbird trying to line up a dazzle, but box dropped by Pop. And uh, Mega get away with the yeah. one kill. Because Mega, I think, mostly pouring resources into trying to take down this mid outer turret. Pop looks for the play. Onto Shinny, here's G4, gets impaled into the stun, and that's goodbye, no chance to pull, great! Heads up play there from Shinny as the rest of the fight will continue. Good flash away from the crescendo, but Pop gonna get Fates called out from Tay, who is charging in with that ulti at the ready. Just a little bit too greedy there from G4, he's tested his luck, he did not have the reaction time Starting that time. In, but with this Ocean Drake spawning now in five seconds, Mega have had the Monopoly on that bit of real estate all game long. So gonna look to continue on sort of shutters. Pop low with a QSF. Now very vulnerable. There's the ulti from Envy. Pops into the Lazarus fight. What an ult there from June. Now needs to get rip the rend out, but a good ult there from Chini. Make sure the carry goes down. And ITZ, they're finding the fight. Finally, they group together. And it's a two for zero win for them. And it looks like they just got overwhelmed right there in the mid lane. A little too low. So INTZ can't really continue from that point, but continuing to build strength. Also Trinity Force and the Wits and Dunk. Great crescendo. Snare there finds two and Envy on a killing spree. Fed's call gonna pull one out, but Lloyd now just a double kill fed over to Mega as Rocky gets in the realm warp and out to safety. But again, INTZ resoundingly win the fight. And the key thing is the fact that they lost the now it's just up to pop, but there's no chance for him to steal it with a Q. Is body block just in case, and that's Baron. Spring forward and grab a pick, but it's just about the damage. Looks like the last Baron wave though, though. Good old there will take down the rise that's good by rocky as itz now have room to try and take down the turret shinny taking a few turret hits as jun down to the back line g4 dives in weren't able to take down shinny but again you know dance back in envy just trying to pop off in the back of the team fight and that's Callista dead and they can just have nowhere to go but their own fountain as INTZ diving straight under the turret, ignoring the structures, and they'll get it on the end as the cherry on top. And that was the pick that looked good. It was the fact that Rocky stepped way too far forward. Shinny immediately clapped the trap right there, and suddenly they've mowed through all of Mega and don't look to be stopping. No need to worry about the middle inhibitor there either. Gonna go straight for the kill here. Nexus turret number one is going to go down. Stun's gonna land in onto June, who will evaporate with the redemption flying down, and INTZ 
Yet to pick up a win until right now, smashing Mega through this mid game. Gonna take down the Nexus. It feels like the top two teams came with creative compositions. They were ready for the Sonoteric. They had things like the Heimerdinger, and it springboarded them ahead. INTZ were playing standard. They threw that out the window. They themselves grabbed the Sonoteric, and they executed on it. I think the tagline for that game for me is that escalated quickly. Because Mega, I feel like they had things in the right places, they were picking up Drakes, they were using the strength of the champions they picked in the early game and focusing down the bottom lane. June was picking up Marks, their two solo lanes are picking up Farm. 